iOS 11 is soon to be released in the next couple of days, and I thought I'd share with you guys some of the secrets within iOS 11, little tricks that might make your life a lot easier. Let's begin. Now the first one I want to share with you guys is, let's say you're at your house and a friend comes over with an iPad, and you want to share your Wi-Fi with them, but you don't want to say your password out loud. Well, your friend can go into settings, and if they ask you for the password, just tell them to go to the Wi-Fi, make sure Bluetooth is on, and both devices are running iOS 11. Now once your Wi-Fi network is detected, tell your friend to tap into the network, and your iPhone over here is going to send the password automatically to this device. Therefore, you don't have to say the password or anything and still share the Wi-Fi with the person you want in the room. So I've actually seen people come across this issue many times, and that is the volume controls in iOS 11. A lot of people say, well, I'm controlling the media controls, but I don't want to go to settings every time to adjust the volume control for the ringer all the time. A lot of people actually come into this issue and by simply tapping to this button right here right below it you can now adjust the volume for the ringer instead of the media audio. So if you go back and turn it off it'll go back to the media audio instead of the ringer volume audio. So there you have it. Simple fix. For this next one I probably get this question at least three or four times a month and that is display and brightness options. The auto brightness option is no longer there in these options. How do I fix it? A lot of people say how do I adjust auto brightness, turn it on or off? Well, Apple has moved it. Go back to general, go to accessibilities and display accommodations. Do not ask me why Apple put it all the way back here, but there it is. Auto brightness toggle on or off and you can manage it from there. Now Siri can be useful for many situations, but what if there's a lot of noise around you? You can't really talk to Siri. Siri can't really understand you. All you have to do is go to general, scroll down, accessibilities, scroll down again, and then go to Siri options. Right here, type to Siri. When you enable Siri, you can all type in your question instead of having to speak to Siri. So if there's a lot of sound or noise around you, you can still type in your request. Now this next option has been around for quite some time, but a lot of people still have issues and try to figure out how it works. So if you go to general and we scroll down to accessibilities and then we go to home button, Right here you have an option that is rest finger to open. So what this does is if I rest my finger on touch ID, it would unlock it. If not, it will unlock the device, but won't bring me to the home screen. So you see that it said unlock up at the top there. You see the lock, touch ID unlocks it, but still keeps you on your home screen. So you can see your notifications. Then you can press touch ID and it'll bring you home. However, if you have the rest to unlock option, you don't have to press the home button, you just rest your finger on Touch ID and it unlocks and brings you home. A lot of people are confused by that option, so that is how you manage that. Alright guys, and that about brings an end to this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click the like button. Much more tutorials in the description down below. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.